to the 2011-2012 GLIAC Men's Basketball Media Day presentation. I am Brad Monastier, the Sports Information Director here at Hillsdale College. I'm joined by our head coach, John Tharp. Coach, welcome to your fifth season. Yeah, thank you, Brad. Uh, can't believe it's five years already, but uh, uh, excited about the upcoming year. Flies by when you have as much fun as we have. That, that's so. right. That's right. You always go by fast. A lot of excitement and anticipation going into the season after going 20-6 and six last year. Got a high national ranking, particularly early in the season. How do you build off of that from that kind of success, and how do you channel that into your team's preparation for this upcoming season? Well, you know what? You're constantly uh, building. Uh, I don't care if you have a national championship team the year before. You're constantly striving to become the best program that you can, that you can be. And really, it started last year when we, we uh, I beat by Wayne State in the Gleyak tournament. Uh, our, our guys have been working extremely hard uh, in developing their skills and becoming stronger. And, uh, we were really blessed uh, to, to go to Greece uh, in the summer and have that, that experience and that bonding in, in 10 days of practice leading up to that trip. Uh, but you know, when you take that excitement and, and you build that energy and you make sure that you're working hard every single day with, with any workout that you have. Uh, from the weight room to agility, um, and, and especially starting on, on October 15th. Our guys will use that excitement and energy, and we as a coaching staff uh, will we'll, uh, use that to make sure that we're practicing the right way. And it, it has to be about your daily activity. It has to be about your habits uh, in order to be as successful as you want to be. If you don't have those first and foremost, uh, you're, you know, I think you're, you're going to be disappointed. But our guys, have a tremendous amount of uh, energy, and we just have a, the right spirit about us right now. We're really pleased with our with our uh, daily activities that we we got around. Here. Right, right off the bat, you guys uh, two Division One opponents in your exhibition season, uh, Valparaiso October 29th. But I know there's so much talk and excitement over the game with Michigan State University November 4th. What does an exhibition game, but in that kind of venue against that kind of opponent? How can it be a positive and work towards success for your team as you go into the regular season? Well, you know what, it, it's just a great opportunity for our uh, veteran group uh, to get out there and play. Right. I think our guys are just excited uh, to, to have an opportunity to play Valparaiso on Michigan State. When you think about Michigan State and what they've done over the years of college basketball, and, and they've been a real, uh, you know, just, a, just a terrific program. And for our guys to go out there, a lot of a lot of Michigan kids in our, yeah. our roster, and to have that excitement, those are memories that they'll they'll have for the rest of their lives. Absolutely. But it will lay out a uh, you know where what we need to work on, where we're at, and, uh, and 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 that is always important before you go into regular season basketball uh, to figure out some of your weaknesses and things that you need to improve on before you step when the game really counts. Sure. So uh, that that will be just a great opportunity for us. It'll be an exciting night exciting for our, our alumni and fans and for our kids and parents uh, and to go to the Breslin Center to have that type of experience is something again that our kids will, will share and talk about years from now when they come back for homecoming and things but it, it will be a great experience for us. I think it's something everybody's looking forward to campus-wide uh, not only the guys with your, your program but uh, a lot of our fans as well. Got an experienced team this year four starters back from last year these guys have really played together for almost three seasons. Does that sort of increase the the expectation level or does it change the teaching level that you go through your guys with at this point in the season? Is, do you kind of come into it in a more advanced stage at this point? Well, I think we are a little further ahead than what we've been the last couple of years. You know, the, the four guys, the four starters that we've had, uh, this will be the third year that they've been together. Uh, and they really understand how to play amongst each other, they know where each other, been, where they're going to be at, uh, you know, and, and, and we're really excited about the, the development of uh, Nick Washburn in particular. He's had a terrific off season. Uh, he is, uh, he's in tremendous shape. He's very, very strong. And, uh, his low post game has improved. His, his mid range game has improved. Uh, you know, and we just got to find that fifth guy to go with them uh, this year. And, and and not even that. It's 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 the idea that our, you know we should have a pretty deep bench as well. Okay. And, to be able to, to uh, put those pieces together, to have that chemistry uh, is really, really important. And I think uh, that, you know, that word chemistry is, is a big thing for our program. And I think we have that. Sure. Our guys care about each other. Uh, they, love, uh, they love each other like brothers. 
uh, and from from a savvy standpoint, they they understand where where you know, where they need to be on the court. Real quick, Coach uh, Brent Eaton was an honorable mention All American preseason selection by the Sporting News. Everybody knows what kind of shooter he is. Describe uh, in 30 seconds or so the other elements of his game that he brings to your team that helps us win. Well, because he shoots the ball so well, he, he uh, creates spacing for everybody else. You know, it's it's one guy on the floor that cannot play weak side defense or help defense because Brent will punish them if they do, which just helps our spacing. But he's putting the ball on the floor uh, better than he's ever had. He's getting to the rim, uh, which we're really excited about. Uh, his low post game has improved, and we're going to take advantage of him on the block because he's such a great free throw shooter as well. And I think he just understands what he, how to play team defense sure. uh, better than what he did when he walked in three years ago. But we're, we're excited about Brent and uh, what type of student athlete he is. Thank you very much, Coach. And that will do it for the 2011-2012 men's basketball preview interview. We hope to see you down the road.